Hey guys, Jennifer J here and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial, I want to show you how I do one of my favorite fall looks. It is called the mauve fall makeup look. It's fun, it's simple, and it's very natural looking. So let's get started. We're going to start here with a clean face and I'm going to go in with my Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. Make sure that the product is well distributed all over your face. And we're gonna go on with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in shade Y505. This is one of my favorite stick foundations. I bought it years ago and I've stuck with it ever since. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my face. I'm also gonna go in with my foundation brush and make sure that it is evenly placed and applied all over my face. And don't forget the chin and the neck and the forehead, the hairlines, the, air, the eyeballs, <laughs> everything. Okay, next we're gonna go with the LA Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. And take my foundation brush and go ahead and apply that to my face on top of the foundation. It's not properly blended in just yet, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna get to it. Y'all know I am the blending queen. So we're gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty blender sponge and go ahead and press that into the skin for proper blending and even blending. Next, we're gonna go in with my Sephora Pressed Powder. And this is the shade Warm Toffee. And I'm just gonna go right over where I placed the foundation. This is to go ahead and make sure everything is evenly distributed on my face. This right here is Bay. So this is before I do the baking process. This is the Becca Hydra Mist and Set Refresh Powder in the shade Golden Bronze. This product is Bay. I'm applying this to everywhere where I apply the highlight just to make sure everything is getting set. Then we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I am going to start the baking process. Now normally I don't bake for a long time but I have been going with a little bit of skin oiling, so I'm gonna go in with the same beauty blender and go ahead and apply the translucent powder to everywhere where I did the highlight to make sure that the product is set and it does not move. Next, we're gonna go in with, with the LA Pro Conceal in the same shade I highlighted with and go ahead and set my eyelids. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that with a flat concealer brush and just apply it on my eyelids to serve as a primer on my lids. We're gonna go in with the Basics by Jeanne Beauty and this is a great palette, all natural, good for the whole transition process. I'm going in with the shade Melanin and we're gonna go ahead and get that in to my crease with my Sigma E40 brush. This is like one of my favorite blending brushes. Don't judge my brush, girl. 
It's been through everything, but it still delivers every time I use it. Okay, we're gonna go on with the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust Palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the lids, and I'm gonna use the shade Lotus. It's a real pretty matte pastel color. I love it so much, I use it a lot. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sigma E45 brush and I went with the color Nocturnal and I'm gonna go ahead and place on those creases and blend it in. And don't forget to blend, blend, blend like your life is depending on it, blend like the rent is due. Everybody knows me, knows I say this all the time, blend, blend, blend. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the shade Ebony and I'm just gonna top off with what I basically did with the nocturnal color just to kind of add a little bit more deeper color on the outer corner of my eyes. It's so important to place the product first before you blend and then blend it out. Okay, we're gonna use the same Sigma 40 E40 brush and I went in with the shade Melanin. I'm just gonna go over everything that I just added just to kinda blend everything together because we want a seamless blend. I'm just gonna go in and touch up my lid with that same color of Lotus. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line the eyes with a small angle brush and the liner that I use is Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blacklist. I prefer a gel liner over a liquid liner just because with the gel liner, I have more control when I use a small angle brush. So I prefer a gel liner. I use it on myself and all my clients. What I'm going to be doing is a wing liner and Joe, don't judge me because I haven't done a wing liner in so long. I kind of got a little, <laughs> but we're going to make it happen. And I'm just going ahead and making a small wing right there. And repeat the same process for the other eye. Okay, we're gonna go with Nocturnal and we're gonna go ahead and hit that 
waterline. So what I'm doing is putting that shade right on my waterline. And then going with the shade Ebony from the Zane Beauty Palette and put that on top with a eyeliner. And now we're gonna add lashes. These are just some good old beauty supply store lashes. You know, they do the job, they're perfect and they were very inexpensive. I love wearing a nice lash and don't sleep on beauty supply store lashes, okay? And as I am applying the lash, make sure you start by placing it in the middle and hitting the two ends and making sure that it's lined up properly, adjust if necessary. Repeat the same process for the other eye. Start in the middle and make sure that the two ends are secure and adjust if necessary. Bam! I like. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and dust off all the powder that I used to bake with and to set my skin. And next I'm going to go with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. Just tap in that shade on the areas just to add some more color and warmth back to my face. All right, we're going to go ahead and bronze and this is the Fenty and Mocha Mommy. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze to add a little bit more warmth and to get some dimension into that face. All right, now it's time to tackle these eyebrows. I know you're probably looking like, girl, these brows are a mess. Yes, they are, but guess what? I am the brow slayer, the brow miracle worker. I am combing those hairs up with a spoolie and we are going to make it happen and get these brows together. What I like to use is my favorite brow powder, which is the convertible brow. And as you can see, it's been a little bit overused, but guess what? It's bae. And I'm just gonna repeat the same process with the second eye. And don't forget, brows are meant to be sisters and not twins. So if you're stressing out because both of your brows don't look the same, don't worry about it. Just keep going and adjust if necessary. All right, gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee and my flat concealer brush. And I am going to go ahead and clean up underneath my brows because we wanted to make a nice clean look underneath. And I'm blending in a downward position as you can see. I'm just going in with another flat brush just to blend downward to make sure everything is blended great and with eyebrow gel I'm gonna get those hairs in place so that's what I did and going back with the Zane Beauty palette in the shade melanin not cinnamon <laughs> and I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended so I'm gonna take my E40 brush that Sigma E40 and just go on top of where I added the concealer to clean it up just to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. And then of course I'm touching up as necessary.
All right, time to highlight. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in the shade Moscow Mule. This is an oldie, but definitely a goodie. I'm just gonna highlight the tops of my cheekbones, my forehead, and now we're gonna go ahead and add the blush, the Black Radiance Artisan Blake Blur bake blush in brick house this is a really good blush don't sleep on it it's really pretty yeah girl i'm feeling myself <laughs> all right let's tackle these lashes this is the essence lash princess mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and get my bottom lashes. My lashes tend to be struggling, but we're gonna make it work. And I just go on top with my, um, just to make sure my top lashes are blended. And then we're gonna follow up with the liquid eyeliner to make sure I go over that lash band, lash band because we wanna make sure that that lash band is not traceable or trackable. Okay, now it's time to curl these lashes with my lash curler. You always want to make sure your lashes are curled to give them lashes a shape. All right, time to set the face. My NYX Matte Setting Spray, one of my favorites. I've been using it for years. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the Kat Von D Lip Liner in the shade Lolita. Another oldie, but definitely a goodie. And then we'll go ahead and add the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ball Harbor. I am such a natural nude girl. Like, I, you cannot pay me to come out of natural land. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the lips. And this is one of my favorites because it's long lasting. And the colors and the shades are so gorgeous. Definitely check out Ofra cosmetics and their liquid lipsticks it's definitely a great great lipstick line all right guys the look is complete let's give it up tell me what do you think about the final look once the hair is applied everything is on Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below how much you like the look and what type of looks you would like to see next. Last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you will be alerted every time a new video drops from me. Okay, bye.